Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video! Today we're going to be learning all about the sign colors in Valheim. This works on both Xbox and PC. In this video I'll show you all about the different colors, how to pick them, and how to use them. Also we'll cover the problem with some colors, which is that you can't see them at all in the dark. Or even in the daytime, frankly. Here's the default sign color. This is the middle of the day, in a shady spot. And uh, you would still need a torch to be able to read that. Like, especially if you go far away. I can't even tell that there's writing on it. But look at all these other colors. I can be far away, and boom, they're well lit, right? Here's the problem, though. Boom, we take away the lighting, and look at that. Suddenly, they're not so well lit, are they? And you can see that from far away, certain colors just completely disappear. And you can't see them at all. So you'll be able to use this video to pick the most visible versions of most of the colors. Unfortunately, I've never figured out how to make red show up at night. It just vanishes even more effectively than black does. To make signs in Valheim, you'll need to build a hammer. And once you have a hammer, go to the furniture tab, and then the sign option will show up there as soon as you pick up coal and wood. The cool thing about signs is that you don't need a workbench to make them. So it's a really great way to just sort of communicate or get a little piece of wood there, right? Because you can do this, and you can actually block certain things in without ever making a workbench. So signs can be useful for a wide variety of different ways. For example, say that you want to mark that you went somewhere, you can just place that on the wall there. That's all you need to do. You don't even need to write on it. So once you've picked up your coal for the first time, you'll be able to place a sign, just like that. And by default, the sign is set to black. So it looks like this. You can write something, and then there you go. But everything you write is going to be black. If you use fewer words, then the font size is bigger. Whereas if you use lots of words, then it gets this small. And this is the most characters that you can have in a sign. So this is sort of the biggest font, then this is the medium font, and here is the smallest. The simplest way to make your signs readable is to write color equals white. You put in a open bracket, color equals, and then the name of the color. There's only certain color names that work. So things like indigo, fuchsia, all these different color names, they won't work. So you can only use the basic color names. For the other colors, you'll have to use hex codes, and I'll show you those after this part. But for now, let's focus on making your sign as readable as possible, and not even worrying about the colors. All that you need to do is change it so that it's white instead of black. And then you'll see that even in the dark, it's quite easy to read. I'll show you what all these look like in the dark in a bit. Using the hex codes is quite similar to using the colors, except you have a much wider variety in the different colors that you can use. For the hex code to work properly, it has to look like this. You have to have the hashtag. If you take the hashtag away, then it's not going to work anymore. So if your hex codes aren't working, it probably means you forgot the hashtag, or something about your format of this section is wrong. Now I'll go down the line and show you some of the basic colors and their hex alternatives. Here we have orange and two of its hex codes. This one shows up the best. I don't know why, but red doesn't show up at all at night, but when you light it, when you put a flame or something nearby it, it gets really bright. My favorite one to use is this one right here, 03FDFC. Now you know all of the hex codes that you see in this video. Feel free to pause the video if you need to write them down or use them. Personally, my favorites are these ones because they show up really well in the dark. Now that we've covered how to make the signs, what you need to make them, and some circumstances that they're useful in, let's look at the signs in the dark so you can really see how challenging it is to read some of them. Here we go, it's the middle of the night and I put the bonfires out. Now we can see that some of these colors just totally vanished. I can get close and barely figure out what these are. The only orange that is legible is this one, 
The basic orange color pretty much vanishes, and so does the blacks and grays. However, white, even without any light, is visible. That's why using a white sign is really good. That being said, there's also other colors that are really visible at night. Green sort of just becomes yellow at night, and then there's actually a, a dark gray that sort of shows up. You see that? That's like, I would use that as a black, to be honest, because you can actually see it at night. You can see that the basic blue and the basic purple really don't show up that well, and if I walk away, they're one of the colors that start to disappear. And certain colors just vanish entirely. And if you walk away far enough, you get a really good sense of how visible the different colors are. When you're placing your sign, pay attention to the front of the sign. Because otherwise, you're going to place it backwards and then write on it and nothing's going to show up and you'll be confused. That's because the sign is backwards. You can tell the front of the sign because it has the three dots on it. But beware, in some circumstances, it's pretty hard to tell if it's the front or the back. Another thing to keep in mind about using colors is it actually takes up some of the text limit. So you can see that this is the limit with regular black, whereas this is the limit when you're using a color. And this is because these characters here, even though they don't show up on the sign, they actually count to the sign's character limit. Another really cool thing you can do is combine colors with symbols. Because Valheim doesn't just show the letters and numbers. No, no, no. You also get all these cool kind of alt code symbols. Here's what I mean. We're going to make a white skull. So we're going to do color equals white and then paste this skull. And look at that, it makes the skull. So you can find the codes by sort of just Googling alt codes, and then you'll find various websites that just show them, right? For example, here's a heart. We'll copy the heart and then change it to red and then change the symbol to the heart. And then look at that, you get a cute little heart. One thing to note is what shows up in Valheim will often be different. This is Sparkling Stars, but it has color in it. So let's see how the game handles this one. Oh, see, not with colors, but still pretty cool, right? That's it for this video, everybody. If you liked it and you want to support my work, then check out my tutorial about purchasing your own dedicated Valheim server that you can play on with your friends. This is one of the best ways to experience Valheim because other people can log on when you're doing something else. It makes Valheim feel a bit more like an MMO, and for me personally, it makes it more playable. And that's it for now. Comment below if there's anything you would like me to make a tutorial about. I love making Valheim tutorials, and it's one of my favorite ways to play the game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!